Hey guys, and welcome back to Film Excitement! How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day! In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the cringiest moments in 90 Day Fiancé we couldn't stand. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video! When it comes to awkward on-screen moments, 90 Day Fiancé is a gift that keeps on giving. Sure, TLC has a bit of a monopoly on the market with My Strange Addiction, but awkwardness knows no boundaries when it comes to love between two people who met on the internet and have never met in person. You thought Tinder dating was difficult? Since its debut in 2014, 90 Day Fiancé has been putting that experience to shame. Let's take a look at it. 90 Day Fiancé meets Darcy and Jesse's Steak Bias Incident Jesse Mester and Darcy Silva have earned the distinction of most explosive pair on any 90 Day Fiancé spin-off, which is hefty order. It's unsettling to see two likely narcissists battling it out on film. As fans have pointed out, the shoe incident in which Jesse throws a rage because Darcy dares to stand on his footwear is undoubtedly the couple's most difficult to watch moment. But the steak bias debacle from the night before takes the cake. During the couple's first family dinner with Darcy's daughters, an argument erupts when she demands that Jesse cut the steak he's preparing on a bias. After storming out, he proceeds to create the most awkward reality TV dinner by sitting at the head of the table, finding calm, and claiming he won't argue in front of the kids. Are you serious? Both of you guys are acting like you're my age. Just grow up, please. Darcy's eldest daughter ultimately says, Asan uncomfortably admits he's only 55% attracted to Nicole. Fans have pointed out that Nicole Nafziger and Azan Tafal's relationship reads like an AOL phishing email from the early 2000s that has come to life. Let's take a look at some of the red flags in the couple's love story. Asan's purported ex-girlfriend calling him a con artist reports that Asan abandoned Nicole because she couldn't pay him any more money. Their two postponed marriages and travels to Granada and Morocco and Asan's K-1 visa being refused. Nicole's mother, too, acknowledges she doesn't trust Hassan. While all of this is awkward, the most painful to watch moments came when the American reality star, who is having a hard time accepting that Hassan's Muslim culture forbids PDA, is chastised by her future husband for being big a little bit. Hassan tries to persuade the plus size star to go to the gym and not be lazy, even threatening to refuse to come to America unless she works on her fitness. Worst of all, Asan claims to be just 55% attracted to this prospective bride, who simply stares at the camera with a glazed over expression. Yikes. And Fisa breaks 90 Day Fiancé's uncomfortable silence record. According to Reddit, and Fisa Neva can well be the hero of 90 Day Fiancé. It's impossible to dispute that the Russian born actress has always been open about her feelings for George Nava. She's even dubbed the Honest Gold Digger by YouTube pioneers H3H3. She has no qualms about telling George that she despises being married to him, which is problematic because his smile make it seem like it's improvement over how she generally feels. Even still, none of the couple's exchanges have been more awkward than an extended quiet during the show's 2016 Tell All special. Aunt Fisa scratched the word idiot into the driver's side door of George's car earlier that season, and despite having a lot of time to contemplate before the Tell All, it doesn't appear that she came to any conclusions. When Anfisa is asked if she regrets keying her husband's car, the silence elicited millions of cringes throughout America. She swiftly responds no, and when the presenter asks why she doesn't regret the action, she merely looks as the camera sweeps to her co-stars for what feels like the longest stretch of quiet in television history. We could have used a commercial break this time, TLC! Leda Magarith as American Dream came crashing down when she discovered that she had flown all the way from Indonesia to Wisconsin to share a twin bed with her fiancé in a filthy apartment. When she discovered Eric Rosenbrook was broke, it was evident that this 90-day fiancé celebrity, who was used to a life of luxury, battled with her decision. Eric's child support payments, which according to Radar Online, were less than $1,000 a month, eventually led to an awkward dispute, despite the fact that her parents paid the equivalent of $300,000 for her previous wedding. The Indonesian actress is forced to marry Eric in a hotel conference room. The child support debate appears to be a cultural divide from the outside. At the very least, that's how Eric puts it. However, Vice claims that this is just not the case. Take it as you will. Indonesia has child support rules that are uncomparable to those in the United States. That is all we have for you all today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, 
Make sure to ask them in the comments down below, and I'd love to help you. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For more content like this and much more, we'll see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye, everyone.